First at 5 o'clock, as the number of COVID cases climbs, one of our area's most beloved traditions has now canceled for 2020. The great state fair of Texas will take a year off, and they'll do so in the name of safety. CBS 11's Brooke Rogers has the story. Normally, we'd be just weeks away from Fair Park coming alive in preparation for the State Fair of Texas. But this year, there will be no Big Tex, no Midway, and of course, no Fletcher's Corny Dogs. Howdy, folks. This is Big Tex. There will be no Howdy and no folks at the State Fair of Texas this year. And to businesses like Fletcher's Corny Dogs, the loss of 2.5 million hungry visitors is crushing. We sell 500 to 600,000 corny dogs in 24 days, and at $6 a pop, you know, that's um, a pretty good chunk of change for us. Fletcher, the granddaughter of the company's founder, says she supports the decision to cancel the state fair. But the news still came as a gut punch. We still kind of were fingers crossed, holding our breath that it would go on. And when we found out this morning, we were all, you know, a little bit in shock, a little teary eyed. But as you know, a vendor, a Texan, a Fletcher, um, we're heartbroken. And so are state fair officials who say the decision was tough but necessary. We're heartbroken for us, we're heartbroken for them. Um, there's hundreds of businesses out here, both large and small, that um, utilize the fair as a source of revenue and to get their brand in front of millions of people. That won't be an opportunity this year. Vendors like Art of Twisted Nail, whose owner says the loss will be devastating for their marketing. For Fletcher's corny dogs, food trucks and catering will hopefully keep them afloat. But Fletcher says it's about more than the bottom line. This is our livelihood. This is our income. You know, and it's not just about money, but again, this is our passion. This is what we do, and this is what we've been doing for eight decades. In Fair Park, Brooke Rogers, CBS 11 News. By the way, Dallas Mayor Eric Johnson did issue a statement today regarding the cancellation, saying that he was saddened, but, quote, the state fair made the safe and responsible decision, he says. COVID-19 spread is rampant in our community, and public health must come first. Again, the words of the mayor.